Hey guys, Tyrannosaurus Text here with a short review of the new MacBook. Hold on a second, let me get this real quick. The new MacBook is a gorgeous piece of machinery with a sleek design, lightweight, and very thin profile. Beautiful design, beautiful display, gorgeous keyboard, amazing trackpad, but it does come with some compromises, some of those being the ports. So if you're not willing to deal with those or the price, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into before you buy this laptop. But other than that, there's really nothing more to go into with me in the picture, so let's cut right to it with the actual review. Let's start off with a few tech specs real quick. First off, the new MacBook has a starting price of $12.99, but it's configurable up to $15.99 baseline. It has a retina display boasting a 12-inch diagonal LED backlit display. It boasts a 2304 by 1442 26 pixels per inch resolution and a 1610 aspect ratio. It has 1.1 GHz dual core, Intel core, and processor, with turbo boost up to 2.4. It also comes in configuration of 1.2 with turbo boost up to 2.6. It has 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of flash storage, but up to 512 GB of flash storage. It is weighs 2.03 pounds and has a total thickness of about 13 millimeters. So here we have the Space Gray new MacBook. It is a gorgeous piece of machinery with a gorgeous design, gorgeous screen, gorgeous keyboard, gorgeous trackpad, and overall gorgeous everything. But is this a computer for you? So if you really want to know, check out our full length video for a full length comparison between the, well not a comparison, but a full length buy or not buy. But for us personally, this has been a great computer. So let's get cracking into what you should take away from this short video of the review of the new MacBook. On the pro list, we have the introduction of the USB Type-C. If Apple were to include just one port on any netbook, this would be the one to make. So this is overall not that bad of a laptop for the port-wise. Now this is also the biggest con, so keep that in mind when buying this. Another big pro is design. Overall beautiful, thin, lightweight, not the thinnest, not the lightest, but overall the best in my opinion. Gorgeous design, all metal, truly one of the most beautiful and functional laptops you can buy when you're a traveler. Next up we have the screen. Overall the screen is amazing. It's overall not that big bad of a problem. And on a scale of 1 to 10, the screen easily gets a 10. The new MacBook can do light video editing without much of a problem. It can do web surfing. This is overall the best computer you can buy if your objects are to look at photos, web surf, watch a couple of YouTube videos here and there, make some documents, keynotes maybe, and light my movie editing. If you want a gorgeous computer that's portable, this is a computer for you. Another pro is the keyboard. The keyboard is very clicky and it takes some getting used to, but if you've ever typed on an Apple computer, this shouldn't be too hard to adjust to. Pro is the trackpad. Now the trackpad actually doesn't click, but you can hear it sounding like it's clicking. And that is because it uses a Taptic engine to simulate clicking. So while it's not actually moving, it makes you feel like it's clicking. And I personally cannot tell the difference. Something that needs to be said is that this MacBook can in fact game. It can game on Minecraft or on the Internet Archive without much of an issue. And that is mainly because this is a core in processor, so it works about to the extent your phone does, but better in a way. So just keep in mind, this isn't going to be your best bet for gaming, but it can game. Battery life is also a plus, and I can easily get nine hours of it with regular use. Last big pro to me is the is the speaker. Now this is one of the best speakers I've ever heard on a laptop, and for good reason. It has a metal design, and you can really hear the sounds popping out at you. Now I was generally surprised when I heard the speaker for the first time. So at full blast, here's a short clip of Shepard by Geronimo. And so there you go. The speaker is very good and can, if you want a comparison between the speaker between this and the iPad mini first generation, check out our full review. Now on to cons. Like I said in the pros, the con, the biggest con is the only one port. You have to buy adapter after adapter and they will be linked in the description below along with the new MacBook if you would like to port purchase them. But I bought mine two weeks ago, the digital AV multi-port adapter, and I have yet to even get a shipment notification. So that has yet to ship and it's been two weeks. So I'm kind of mad about that, but overall I'm dealing with it. Other than that, really the USB Type-C is really just the lack of ports that make it so terrible. Next downside is slight overheating. Now on the back and on the speaker on the front, it does slightly overheat, 
but not to the extent of crashing a laptop or being burning for so hot. And sitting in the sun, working on iMovie for an extended period of time, also on YouTube and multiple pages in Safari, in the sun, I might add, is not a problem for me whatsoever. I haven't had that overheating problem too much. It has been reasonable. The disadvantage of the new MacBook is the camera. It boasts a 480p camera and is not the camera that you want um, on a computer of 2015. Now, some people have been dubbing it on the internet and YouTube and social media and all those good things, the potato cam, and for just reasons, the camera is not strong too. So if you're looking for a Skyping or FaceTiming camera, this is not it. Probably the biggest con of the new MacBook is the price. It starts at $1299 but can easily go up to $1750 as a total cost after being fully upgraded. So keep that in mind when thinking about buying the new MacBook. So overall, after spending two weeks with the new MacBook, I've come to the conclusion that if you're a hardcore gamer, heavy video editor, or someone that really needs a workhorse computer, then the new MacBook is not for you. However, if you're a college student, or high school student for that matter, and you really are traveling a lot, or if you're just using it for surfing purposes or slight work projects on pages and keynote, this is a computer for you, possibly. So all factors considered, make sure you check this computer out as it is one of the best that Apple has to offer for what it is considered. Now it's not up there with the MacBook Pro because the same people that buy the MacBook Pro wouldn't buy this. So make sure you consider that before making any haste decisions. Thank you watching and this is our review completed but short before we close up shop let's quickly tell you what the tyrannosaurus tech score is for the new macbook and that is a surprising 8 out of 10 with so many compromises the beautiful design just keeps dragging us back so tell us what you think in the comments below should you be picking up a new macbook is it worth the compromises is it not worth the compromises tell us what you think so without further ado thank you for watching this short video of the tyrannosaurus tech crew and the new MacBook after two weeks of review. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment for more content like this, and keep watching because we'll be back. So this is about it. So have a good week, have a good day, have a good life.